Jill J and today I am here with my last wrap up of 2019. I read a total of 12 books in December which most of them are graphic novels so that is why I read so much because I had like no time to read this month but besides the point I'm breaking this up into two parts so these are the first six books I read this month so without further ado let us get started. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. I actually don't have a physical copy of it. I listened to it on audiobook because I was desperate to read it so here we are. This is the third book in the Cruel Prince trilogy. I think it's called like Folk of Air. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I actually fell in love with this series this year and I'm very upset that it's over. Jude is one of my favorite morally gray characters ever created. I loved watching her realize that weakness was okay in this book and coming to realize that it's okay to ask for help when you need it. I fell even more in love with Carton in this book. I love how we got to see more of his character this time around and I love how he finally got to start to open up to Jude and show her how he cares about her. We all know that I am a huge fan of enemies to lovers so I have been shipping Cardin and Jude from the very beginning so comes to no surprise that I love them together. I love the tension and the angst between them so I was really excited that they were back together. And although I am still not the biggest fan of Taryn, she definitely did grow on me in this book. I just really like the complex relationships that all of the characters have together. I think that Jude and Maddox relationship was probably my favorite in this series. The biggest complaint I do have about this book is that it felt way too short and it felt very rushed and it wrapped up a little bit too perfectly for my liking but overall I did really enjoy the trilogy and I definitely recommend it. So the next book that I read is actually one that I read to my students for something in teachers college. I had to read them a book and then they had to like connect things whatever nobody cares. It's The Invisible Boy by Tracy Ludwig and I just think that this is like an adorable book. This book follows a little boy named Brian who feels very invisible in his classroom and in life in general until a new boy comes to the class and things begin to change for Brian. I 100% recommend this book if you are a teacher or have like children, read it to them. It can foster some great discussions about like social inclusion and like bullying, kindness, like that kind of thing. It's just like a really cute story so I really enjoyed it and my kids really enjoyed it so. Next book was a graphic novel. It's called Creeple People and it's by Patrick D. Pigeon. I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars. I really did not enjoy it whatsoever. It follows a science department that is about to be shut down at a university and it follows these three students that attend the university who decide to take it upon themselves to save the department by creating these creeple people. I honestly have no idea what I just read but like it was not good. I definitely would not recommend wasting your time with this graphic novel but it was a lot so. And then I read another graphic novel. It's called The Wendy Project. This is by Melissa Jane Osborne. This follows 16 year old Wendy who after the death of her brother Michael she believes that he is still alive just up in the sky with a magical boy named Peter. Wendy is sent to a new school and she begins to have trouble differentiating between what is real and what is make-believe. She is sent to a therapist who has her begin to doodle in this notebook but she soon realizes that this notebook might be somewhere that she can express her feelings but it might also be a portal to Neverland. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. I am a sucker for fairy tale retelling so I was very excited for this because like Peter Pan retelling, yes please. Although I wasn't like the biggest fan of the story, I really loved the artwork in the book and the use of like color was just like really well done. It was like black and white when she was in the real world and then when she would go to Neverland it would be like colorful and like super vibrant and I was just a big fan. I definitely think that it enhanced the story but like I said the story itself wasn't anything that special to me. The next book I picked up was Finale by Stephanie Garber. This is the final book in the Caraval series and I am definitely upset that it is over. I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved the entire series. I loved how fast-paced this book was. I loved learning more about the fates and what they entailed. I really enjoyed seeing more of Paloma, Scarlet and Tella's mother, and learning more about her backstory. I also really enjoyed the alternating perspectives between Tella and Scarlet and how we got to see the story from both of their perspectives, but they were both equally important to the story. They kind of were like on two separate 
stories, but like it all flowed together very well. I'm also still just a huge fan of the sister relationship in general. I just think that it's a really well done relationship. I was also like a big fan of the love triangle between Legend, Tella, and Jax, which is surprising because I usually absolutely hate love triangles, but something about this one really worked for me. Big fan. I also love Julian and Scarlett together and their relationship. I just think they are so sweet to each other. They're definitely one of my favorite relationships that I've read so far. So I just think that everybody should read this trilogy. I think it's very underrated. I know that a lot of people either love it or either hate it and there's no in between. I was just one of the people who really really enjoyed it. And then the final book that I will talk about for this part one of the wrap-up is Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Han. Apparently this is the wrap-up of I read the last book in a series. Not mad about it. I gave this a three out of five stars. I enjoyed the final book but it wasn't my favorite of the trilogy. Definitely the first book is still 100% my favorite. I still think that the family dynamics in this book is my favorite part of it. I think that the sisters are just so sweet to each other and you can really tell how much they care for one another. But I did really like the glimpse of conflict within the family and how they all just kind of talked about it and made it work and resolved it within the family. Kitty definitely shone in this book for me. She's always been my favorite song sister, but something about her in this book really like outdid it for me. I also really enjoyed how the book actually dealt with like older teenage problems like going off to college and like worrying about the future. I thought it was really well done which you don't see in a lot of YA books, so I was excited about that. So yeah, not my favorite in the trilogy, but still pretty great, so three out of five stars. All right, everybody, so that was the first six books that I read for December 2019. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these, what you thought of them, and stay tuned for part two coming soon. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!